political activity. And uh, as you also know that uh, uh, the next general election marks a transition, both for the presidency, uh, uh, with the president and the deputy having served uh, two constitutional terms, but also for about 21 governors who have also served 21, 21 uh, who have also served two terms. Um, so political consultations are ongoing. We have also been holding consultations, uh, uh, particularly on behalf of the Deputy President, uh, with several governors, uh, almost close to 20 governors, um, to discuss about the future, to discuss about uh, our contributions to uh, uh, the recovery of our economy given the effects of uh, COVID-19, and also to discuss the sort of uh, governance structures, uh, government that is going to be there in 2022 at the national level, but also at the, generally in the entire country. I think uh, those are the discussions uh, we've, been, we've been holding, several, and I've had the fortune of chairing some of them. Uh, people who think the same, who think that this Kenya has a future, particularly the governors, and this, that we have a role to play once we're done with our terms, we have a role to play uh, in determining the politics and, uh, of this country. And I think that's, that's been the discussion. And it so happened that uh, we are also in concurrence with uh, the thinking of the deputy president of, uh, of uh, recovering our economy uh, through a bottom-up. This is something that we've always been talking about, uh, the strength of devolution. It's basically strengthening devolution from the bottom. Who are involved in these meetings, if you could give us names? No, it's quite a number. I will not give names at the moment. Uh, I think progressively moving forward, uh, they'll come out. As you know, that uh, they already they have been threats and intimidations to quite a number of them, but they will emerge as time uh, goes by. Uh, so what is your role? You said that you chaired some of these meetings. So basically, what is your role as a chairman? You know, as you know, I'm a politician and I'm a governor, and, uh, and, and formerly I've been a chairman of the Council of Governors. So, so, so I still link up to discuss with my colleagues. I still have that uh, hour of reaching out to my colleagues and discussing. And, uh, and it is a fact that uh, I have expressed uh, uh, that in the coming election, I'll be supporting the deputy president. You know, as I said, that uh, the political players are discussing now. Uh, discussing about uh, winning the next election, discussing about uh, coalitions, discussing about partnering. So we also don't want to be left behind as governors. We want to join the rest of the political class in the thinking because we believe that uh, our contributions to the governance of this country is very critical, particularly at the uh, county levels. And we also want uh, to mirror this at the national level. So, so the discussion is towards uh, uh, the thinking of what is the best policies and, 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 and uh, 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 that will be best to adopt uh, in 2022, given that the challenges that now that are uh, facing Kenyans are surmounting. Uh, with COVID-19 challenges, with already a battered economy due to heavy indebtedness, uh, I believe that uh, 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 we will want to rally the political players around uh, a theme and a mission that helps uh, uh, the 47 million Kenyans recover from all these problems. And, and, and our thinking and, and our discussion is, is much more um, impressed by uh, uh, the grassroots uh, economic growth that has been advanced by certain political players, particularly the deputy president. And, and our thinking is, 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 is towards that direction. How best can we be able to rally? Because we think that that is the only option that is available now to be able to get us out of, uh, out of the woods we are in. Um, there is already a, a very soon to be rolled out a, a grassroots uh, manifesto. 
uh, that uh, that is going to be rolled out. Uh, we are inputting into it uh, to make sure that uh, uh, whatever government plans uh, in the next five years is is incorporated and particularly strengthening, putting a lot more strength on the grassroots because that is where the majority of Kenyans live, and 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 and, and in that way. Uh, the focus becomes uh, helping those at the very bottom to be able to 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 pick up and 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 we are contributing towards that and we think that uh, our experience is working in the forty seven counties or in the more than twenty counties for those who have been uh, convening uh, is going to be very vital for developing uh, uh, the political strategy uh, for for the country. Uh, uh, beginning from uh, uh, next year. I think as I told you that we are in a transition. 15 months to election is a transition where a new president is going to be elected, new governors are going to take over to head county governments. And so uh, the thinking has to begin now. And as also said that uh, they are almost close to 21 governors who are exiting because of uh, that constitutional requirement. And, and all of us have an experience of managing public service from the county level. We believe this is an experience that can be beneficial to the country. And that's why we are rallying together to make sure that uh, that experience is not lost. That experience uh, it, it benefits uh, uh, a political grouping that, has, that prioritizes the needs of the grassroots. And the needs, or the, the, and the need of the grass, uh, the need, the, uh, the need of grassroots, is what can be able to recover our economy. It's what can be able to grow, uh, to provide as economic growth uh, that we are so missing, and which many Kenyans now are crying out that uh, they need uh, money in their pockets. And, and, and I think the best, so so so, the, so our experience has to be utilized in that way. We don't want to lose it by retiring. And then going back home and sitting. Well, uh, from my understanding, there have been no such talks. Uh, there have been no such planned talks, and those talks have not taken. I think that is just the media spinning it. Uh, all what I'm aware is discussions with uh, with governors, with MPs, like rec the recent uh, discussions with uh, Governor Paranya, which basically began one and a half years ago. So this is just almost the end of, of that dialogue and discussion. And, 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 and that in no way relates to the fact that uh, they have been a coalition with uh, Ray Lodinga. But you know Oparanya is the deputy of the uh, ODM party. So most people, when you see Oparanya leaning towards a certain uh, side, people tend to feel like he is speaking for Raila, he is there for Oparanya. For Raila. Besides, after the meeting in Masai Mara, Oparanya said that Raila was well aware that he was meeting the DP, though he said that it wasn't a planned meeting. So, you mean to say we are wrong in assuming? You've got to be aware that alliances, political alliances, keep shifting with interests, with focus. Up to 2019, I was the vice chairman of ODM. I shifted focus, and I said out publicly that I'll shift focus from 2022 because I believe that Kenya needed that change. So I also believe what is driving uh, Governor Paranya and many other governors and many other leaders out there who will be joining uh, and teaming up is also about shifting alliances and shifting interests. So, so should we expect Oparanya? Because now you, I, what I'm getting is that uh, it's something to do with Oparanya himself as an individual and not Odium or Raila. Should we expect that announcement really soon that Oparanya has shifted calm? It may happen. I believe it's going to be happening, uh, as it will also happen to many other leaders who will be shifting political camps. And I say, this is a period now, a period of uh, transfers. Uh, you will be witnessing this from across all the political divides, and with certain political groupings weakening and some political groupings uh, strengthening. Uh, this is going to bound to be happening.